Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Tristan from Ninja. Today we are going to answer a question that I've received maybe 20, 25 times over the last couple of months. And so I figured, you know what, I got a little bit of time today. We're just going to sit down and we're going to go crazy with this. And we are going to build an affiliate site with Weebly. There's a lot of steps involved with this. And so instead of breaking it up into like five or six different videos, I think I'm actually just going to uh record everything all at once and so this video is going to be very very long so i want to apologize for that in advance but it's better to have one really long video than for me to sit here and try and record you know five or six of these over the course of a couple of weeks and it's just a pain so we're going to just not do that so um we got weebly we actually aren't going to be starting in weebly we're going to start over in another website called clickbank so clickbank is an affiliate marketplace you know people come here they set up their affiliate offers you take those affiliate offers and you promote them on your website, on your YouTubes, on Facebook, whatever. And it's pretty neat. I have only recently started getting involved in affiliate ads and things like this. Honestly, it's not something that I do a lot. And so I don't pretend to be super expert at this particular part of it. Most of what I do is actually going through Amazon. So as you guys can see here, uh, I just recently started doing this with some YouTube videos and I'm getting some clicks, you know, I'm get, starting to get a little bit of traffic on there. So that's pretty cool, that makes me happy. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Now ClickBank is really easy because they'll accept pretty much anybody. I, they'll usually ask you for a website before you get started. So if you have one, you know, that's great. But what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna find our affiliate offer first and then we're gonna build our website based around that instead of going the other way around. So here's what we do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the marketplace and we're just gonna kind of pick something. Okay, so this e-business and marketing. So we actually have courses on affiliate marketing. So you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and go with that. And so on. So you can see there are a lot of these different things. You have affiliate books. Oh, well, that's in Italian. So that's kind of cool. So if you're looking for something in Italian, that one's Spanish. We're gonna go ahead and go with the passive income recurring commissions thing. So we click on this. So this will show us the landing page where people are gonna be sold the information, right? So these guys are like the best affiliate marketers on the planet and so you know they they teach you guys how to do this kind of stuff and so you get a whole bunch of testimonials all this kind of neat things and then let's see what else we got this is a really long page i don't know why people like doing this so much but uh proof of hundreds of customers have made money with the system so whoever this is, is making a lot of money that's like 21 dollars and there are a lot of these things so these all the same day I don't know. Okay, so here's the actual meat and potatoes of this. So it teaches you how to set up an autoresponder, how to offer content versus offers, um, all this kind of stuff. So if you guys are actually interested in um, in getting into affiliate marketing, this might actually be something really handy. So it's thirty-seven dollars per month, or you can pay a one-time fee of ninety-seven dollars. And then down here you have your handy dandy return policy. Yeah, you hundred percent money back guarantee. So, uh, if you guys are looking into this kind of stuff, this could be something really cool. Since that's kind of what we're trying to do with this, we're actually going to use this as our affiliate offer. So there's going to be a link to this in the description. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. So here's how we promote it. We're going to click on the promote button, and we're going to name this thing um, affiliate marketing. And there we have our code. We have an HTML link that we can place somewhere, and we also have a QR code. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this, we're gonna move it off screen, we're gonna hold on to that for later, and we'll be coming back to that in a little bit. So, uh, basically this will work with pretty much any sort of affiliate marketing program. You can come over here through ClickBank, you can go through, um, I think the other one's like Affiliate Junction, something like that. You can do it with Amazon. With Amazon what you do is you sign up for an affiliate account, and then you can pick like any sort of product and they'll actually just give you a link so like we can click this one right here uh, this is material for 3d printing so you just copy this and paste it wherever we want to go so we're probably going to stick this in there too but probably just as an example so we now know what we're going to be selling we know who we're going to be selling it to so let's go ahead and take a look at our keywords okay so one of the best tools for keyword planning is the google keyword planner 
This is another awesome free tool. Now, if you come over here and they keep saying, hey, you gotta pay for your first campaign, do this, do this, do this, you don't actually have to do that. If you can get to any of these pages, specifically we're looking for this little part right up here, all you have to do is click on tools and go down to keyword planner. All right, cool. So um, over here we have three different options as far as finding new keywords. This first option is what we use when we're looking just to find keywords. We're not 100% sure what it is we wanna go after. The second option is for when we already have a list of keywords that we want to go after that we're interested in and we just want to see what kind of traffic they get. And then the last option is when we have a list of keywords already and we're looking for new keywords that we can take from the list that we already have. So what this will do is you give it a couple of lists of keywords and it will combine them in different ways and look for potential keywords from that. So since we don't have anything set up yet, we're going to go ahead and click on search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. Uh, we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna say we are looking for affiliate marketing training, okay? Now you can also add in your landing pages, you can add in product categories, you can do all that kind of stuff. And you can even filter this down if you want to. You can go after just specific cities or states or countries. So like right now I have a whole bunch of my nearby states selected. We actually don't need this. We can go ahead and remove that. I think it just says that we need to be within the US for our program. So we're gonna go ahead and just say that. And we can pick the languages. So we can go English and Spanish. In fact, I think I'm just gonna do Spanish for this. Just, well, no, we'll keep it in English because that'd make it easier. So we want English. Normally I would do Spanish because there's gonna be a lot of competition for this. And so it's gonna be really hard to actually make any real money from it. But, um, you know, we'll give it a shot, see what happens. And then we can also put in negative keywords. So for example, if you are offering a service and you don't want people who are looking for jobs in that particular service. So like that's something we'd had a lot when we're doing translation is, you know, we'd search for English Spanish translation you know, to get an idea of how many people were actually searching for our services. But we found that there was a huge number of translators who were looking for those, you know, for companies like that and using very similar keywords. And so by removing the keyword job, then we were able to you know, find the actual traffic that we were looking for. So that's how that works. So we have our keyword, we have our targeting done, and we're just gonna hit get ideas. Okay, so here is our first page. We actually have quite a bit of traffic here. It looks like we have an average of about 740 searches per month. Excuse me, 740,000 searches per month. That's pretty good, that's nothing to sneeze at. And then if we look down here, this will give us a little bit more specific information. So the exact keyword affiliate marketing training gets 720 searches per month. When it talks about competition, it's not talking about how difficult it is to actually rank for a keyword. It's telling us how difficult it is or how much competition there is to bid for these keywords. And this tool isn't specifically built to show us how many searches there are. It's built to help us decide where to spend our ad money. If you wanted to spend money on you know, driving traffic to a website, then this will let you know. You, you know you're gonna have a medium amount of competition and you're gonna be paying about $6.64 per click. Now if you can get a really, really good uh, conversion rate, you can take this you know, right here and as long as you can sell like one out of every, I don't know, one out of every 13 sales or clicks, then you know, you're at least breaking even. So we have this right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our other keywords over here and see what our options are. How to make money. That one gets a lot of searches, has medium competition, uh, make money online has a lot. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, there's a few videos that are number one for this one. Nope, okay. So that one's not too bad. How to make money online. You can see medium, medium. This one's actually pretty low. Medium, high, medium, medium, low, low. You're gonna be seeing a lot of mediums and high with this. So I'll make money fast, affiliate marketing, network marketing, uh, we want something that's gonna be relatively easy to do. I feel like marketing programs, CJ, that's, uh, actually that could be interesting. No, we'll still grab, we'll take a look at it. Because we don't necessarily need a lot of traffic, we just need traffic that's going to actually convert. So here's a video. Let's take a look at the video real quick and let's see how much traffic it's getting. Because YouTube's a really neat source for this too. All right, so this has 3,712 views. It's been up for three years. Um, 
not doing too bad. It's actually not ranking that well on YouTube. I mean, it's got a few things, but I cannot rank that. So who knows, maybe we'll make a video on this one too. Let's see what else we have here. Training affiliate program, free affiliate training, learn affiliate marketing step by step. Usually we're looking for something, you know, above 500 searches per month. Uh, typically you don't, uh, depending on your level of experience, you know, I wouldn't suggest going too high with it because like I said, the higher the search volume is, the more attractive it is going to be for other SEOs and the harder it's going to be to actually make any money from it because you're gonna be competing with a lot of people. So super affiliates, what else we got here? And we don't necessarily have to go after something that has really, really high uh, searches. We can go after several smaller ones and do that instead. So for example, we can do a specific page on our website about how to affiliate marketing, and then we can do another one on how to become an affiliate marketer, step by step. So, you know, we're still not gonna be getting a ton of views, it's, but we'd be getting 180 views per month with relatively easy setups instead of working really, really hard for a different keyword and maybe getting just some of that traffic. So, you know, it's kind of a give and take. It's a question of numbers, what works best for you and what uh, you wanna do. So let's go ahead and pick something out here because this is already getting really long. And so here are the keywords we're gonna be going after. There are five of them. And then here is the total amount of uh, money that of searches that we can expect to have. So we're just gonna ask it how many searches we have per month. Okay, so here are the keywords that we're gonna be going after. Let's go ahead and erase these because we don't need those. Uh, we're gonna be going after six of them and we're looking at a total of about 1,100 searches per month. So now that we have that in mind, we know that the big one we wanna go after is probably gonna be affiliate marketing training. So we're gonna grab that and that'll be our number one uh, title. That's the one that we're gonna be using for pretty much everything. So now that we have all that boring part done, we can do one more thing. So we're gonna copy this and I'm gonna show you guys one more tool that I really like. which is called Keyword Finder. Now this is another free tool, except that you can only use it five or 10 times per day without having to pay for it, something like that. So what this will do is actually give us an idea of how difficult it'll be to actually rank for something. So we tell it what keyword we want, and then it's going to say it's a 36, what's so not too hard, and then it gives us information on the other sites that are currently ranking. So uh, this even gives us some interesting ideas, like learn affiliate marketing, that gets 390 searches per month. It's ranked at a 20 difficulty, which I'll oh, announce at 36. That's not too bad though. I mean, that's something that we can add to our list. So we're gonna put that right there. Whoops, paste that in and it had, how many searches did it have? Like 390. All right, let's try our other big one that we really wanted. So this one came in as a 36. This one's a 36. Um, this one's not too bad. Let's take a look at that. All right, so a 57 is hard. That means that one's gonna be really, really tricky to go after. And so you will notice that there is some discrepancy between this and what shows on Google. I'm not really sure which one to trust. I mean, typically would go after what Google says, but the thing is, Google wants us to spend money, and so if they have a keyword that's worth more money, then you know they might be a little bit more inclined to show that instead of something with a little bit more searches that they may not make as much money with. So it's a little bit of a conspiracy thing, you know, put on your tinfoil hats, but uh, I don't know, just something I've noticed. So we're gonna go ahead and look at these, and it looks like the ones that I really like the most are gonna be this one, and this one, because this one over here is ranked at a 56. That one's gonna be hard. Let's take a look at this one real quick too. That one's 51, so that one's possible, but again, that's gonna be a little bit more effort than we really wanna put into this. So I think that'll do for now. Basically, we're gonna be going after this one. Let's highlight this with my blue, and that one. So. Between those two, again, we're looking at, you know, it's 1110 searches per month. So that's the goal. Affiliate marketing training, learn affiliate marketing. Let's go to Weebly. Okay, so what we do is we choose our theme, and come right over here, 
and here we go so now what we want to do is we're just going to go ahead and start building stuff so first thing I want to do is I want to add a landing page I don't want a splash page I kind of like doing the splash pages too but we're going to go ahead and go with a landing page here what we're going to do is we're just going to start filling this out with the information for our product now a lot of times what we'll actually do is we will tell this that we want our main page to be a blog affiliate marketing training that's the one we want so we're going to grab this name it that and we're going to make this into our landing page there we go. we're going to save that and we're going to drag this up and make this our home page and this page we don't need anymore my page okay so the reason that we did this is we want this main page to be hosting all of the blogs that we upload to this page or to the website okay now the reason that we did this is because we want this main page to host all the blogs that we're going to be posting so that's going to be important because any links that we send to this page or any um, links that anybody else points at this page we want to make sure that this is going out and affecting all the blog posts that we're writing so we're going to start out with our blog settings we want to set this to as high a number as we can so that'll be 25 so at this point basically what we want to do is we want to start optimizing the page the main thing that we want to look at is just simply going to be good content making sure that we're actually providing some sort of value to our customer who is the person who's visiting our page so from here you know we're just going to go ahead and start filling this stuff out okay so that's our first blog post typically you want something between three and five hundred words um, that should be pretty close we can actually check yeah that's 506 words so we are just about perfect we don't need that close so cool we now have a blog post and what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to do some a little bit of SEO to this so we're going to say uh, email marketing training programs and we're going to do another one say affiliate training now we have some advanced options down here so we can pick the best one that we want so we say learn affiliate marketing step by step and we're going to come over here and we're going to say we can grab that part right there that'll be fine just want to make sure that our punctuation is on point that's good and so that should do the trick for this particular post so we're going to go ahead and post it okay so the site isn't live yet so that's just fine now we do eventually want to add some other pages to this too and we do that just by coming over here and clicking on pages so we can add something you know like um, you know a standard page we can say about me and we'll add that to it and that's where we'll add like our contact information and things like that in case people want to do something like that. We can add another one over here. We can say uh, contact just in case somebody wants to promote their own services through here. Who knows? Or they have specific questions. So we can set all that up. We'll come back to that in a little bit. It's not super important to this. Um, the one thing I do want to show you guys that's really cool is you can click the choose layout option. And then what this will do is it will actually give you a template for you know this type of page so for example if we have you know a contact us page right we we'll click this right here um, and we're good now one of the things that um, you want to keep in mind is if you are just building affiliate sites like this one of the things that really does help as far as you know ranking things like that is if you do have lots of content on your pages and if you have lots of different kinds of content so for example we could actually fill out this contact us part quite a bit more and um, you know it would help to you know kind of show Google that this is a real page that it really is you know there really are people using it and looking at it and stuff like that so um, you know if you are really trying to rank for something it might help to do something like this so just something to keep in mind and then for the about me part um, usually we'll do the same thing let's kind of grab something like this Pick one that looks good. And obviously as the site grows, I would actually come back and add in that information because I do think that it's valuable. 
And for example, this could be another place to add in some more of those affiliate links. So for example, if you do another review on another company, or if you're actually testing out one of the processes that they've taught in one of the courses, then that's something you can link down here. You know, kind of show us like an example of stuff that you've done. So that could be handy as well. About me. So the only thing I think I'd actually add to this is add some social buttons over here, like so. So that way people want to share them, then they certainly can. And if they don't, that's fine too. So you can email this. Uh, we're actually not going to include that one. I'm uh, not going to include Instagram or LinkedIn either. Instagram could work, Facebook could work, and Twitter could work. We'll add those. In a little, well, we'll go ahead and add those in right now. So go ahead. Okay, so as far as the actual content of the page, we're actually done. I mean, obviously, we're going to want to come back and add more posts in the future, you know, linking out to different affiliate programs, linking out to different training programs, and things like that. But that um, is essentially what we're looking for. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to optimize our page a little bit more. So, we're going to come over here to settings, and we're going to come over to we don't really need to do anything with this this is all fine we can go to SEO and we're gonna put in our site description our site description is uh, for our site description we want to make sure that we're actually including some of those keywords but again we don't want to go crazy with it because if we have too much on here for over optimized it will actually cause more harm than good so next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these these will be our meta keywords okay we now have our keywords now other things that we'd want to add to this for example if you have Google webmasters you can add that to this um, I'm not going to be doing that what I am going to do though is I'm going to add is I want to add a little bit of code because the tracking program that I use actually uses a little snippet of code that you have to add to the site somewhere so we're going to come down here to the very very bottom and we're going to tell it to paste and this is actually invisible, so you won't be able to see it. It's just they're tracking traffic and stuff like that. Did we break it? We may have broken it. And there it is. That's our little snippet of code. And what we can do is we can even come over here to our settings. And we can actually just drop it right over here. I just kind of like doing it in the other place. Oh, did we really lose all of our keywords in our site description? Oh, that sucks. All right, so let's try this again. Okay, so I forgot to save it first. So... Um, you know, make sure to be saving that stuff. Just push this button down here. Make sure you guys can see that. Yeah. So just hit the save button. Save yourself some trouble. All right. Now, as far as these other options, you know, we can add members to the site. So if we want to do like some sort of paid thing on here, we can do that. If you want to set up a store, you can do that. And um, this is where we control our blogs. And this is the same thing we saw on the other page. Nothing too crazy here. So let's go ahead and. All right. Now, there's actually one more thing that we can do here. So we're going to bring our affiliate code back up. Here it is right here. We actually want this little snippet of code right there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our post again. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to grab our embed code. Drop it right here in the middle of our post, or the bottom of our post. We're going to paste that in there. We're going to center it. And there we go. So now this click. Uh, this little button right here will send people over to the um, to this link again and people can try it out they can see if they like it they can see if it works and if it does work then they're happy and if it doesn't work they can get their money back so that's pretty nice in fact we should probably include something on here too that's good all right so the only thing we have left to do here is we just launch the site all we got to do is we hit the go live uh, this will actually be a little bit different on nope somebody else owns it they want a minimum of $200 for it. That's sad. So we're going to have to come up with a different domain. We'll come up with that in a little bit, uh, probably in another video, and then we'll add it to this so if you guys want to check it out. All right, and there it is. So again, to recap, first thing that we want to do is we want to go to some sort of affiliate marketplace, find something that we want to sell. You can do the same thing with Amazon. I mean, right here we have the option to sell, you know, like I said, parts for um, 3D printing. So like this right here is what they actually use to print. This is the printing material. So you know, do the exact same thing. Here's your code, copy this, come back over here to Weebly, grab your embed code, drop it in there, you're done. You can do the same thing with uh, Google AdSense, but you're gonna be making very, very, very little money. I mean, one click with this is gonna be worth more than a thousand views with the other thing. So I don't even waste my time with it. So pick an offer, 
do some research, find out how hard it's actually going to be, build your website around that concept using those keywords that you've identified, and then after this, the next steps are just to get people to the website. So you would want to do that by you know, sharing it on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and all these other places. Do your SEO, throw some backlinks at it, you know, do all that other stuff, and you know, however you want to do it. I'm I'm not here to say you know do PBNs, don't do PBNs, or whatever. That's totally up to you guys. I don't care. But um, like I said that's the next step. And then as people start coming to the site, if you target your keywords right, if you're targeting and doing your SEO right then the people who are actually interested in this are going to be the people who are actually showing up on the site and those are the people who are going to be purchasing you know this product from the affiliate and that's it so it really is pretty simple and honestly I do think that Weebly makes it very easy because like I said we put this website together in just a few minutes the hardest part was writing out the content for it and doing the research so once you get past that part which honestly is the most boring unsexy part of doing anything on the internet but once you've got that done, then it's just a question of adding more and more content and improving your rankings and everything else. So um, I think that pretty much covers it. If you guys do have any other questions about building an affiliate site like this, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. I try very, very hard to answer every question that is posted, even if they're nonsensical or if they're very mean comments and things like that, I will still try to... Uh, to answer and help out however I can and um, so yeah I think that'll do it for this video though I was gonna say a quick tutorial but I've been recording for about an hour and a half this video is probably gonna be about 20 minutes but uh, yeah like I said if you guys do have any questions if you do have anything else you'd like to know about let me know in the comments below um, if you'd like to learn more about affiliate marketing through email head over to this website it's actually it looks like it could be a viable um, a viable course and I had written here in the post but uh, I actually had used email marketing in the past for my own business it was very effective we actually saw we weren't selling other people's products we were selling our own products but we did see an increase of about 50% uh, new projects and revenue per month by doing it because what we do is instead of going out and trying to find new customers every week we actually used it as a uh, client management system so we had used that to keep in contact with past customers and customers that you know we had worked with recently so that way we can keep selling to those people who are already interested or already saw the value in what we're doing and who are already happy with our services made life a lot easier so um, I said if I'm actually kind of tempted to check this out it's not expensive at all either that's the crazy thing about it normally these things are like three or four thousand bucks but this one's only a hundred dollars or forty dollars uh, per month that's not bad that's actually really good so uh, again, if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, check these guys out. But yeah, that'll do it for me. I am Tristan from Utah, see you at Ninja. Have yourselves an awesome day. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.